Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun, and here's your Channels TV morning news update for Tuesday, October the 1st, 2019. U.S. President Donald Trump has congratulated Nigeria on her 59th independence anniversary. President Trump extended his congratulations in a message to President Muhammadu Buhari on Monday. In the message, which was published on the U.S. Embassy's website, Mr. Trump said Nigeria is one of U.S.'s strongest partners in Africa. President Muhammad Buhari says all Nigerians deserve fair justice delivery in spite of ethnic, religious or even political affiliation. The president made a declaration at the official commissioning of the Annex Building of the National Government Court of Nigeria in Abuja, where he appealed to the three arms of government to live up to their collective duties by ensuring that the rights of Nigerians are safeguarded. To insurgency, the Nigerian Army's counterinsurgency operation Lafia Dole Theatre Command has arrested a middle-aged man alleged to be a supplier for the insurgent group Boko Haram. Army operatives caught the suspect en route by Gatown, heading towards the Lake Chad region with contraband goods. After being paraded before journalists, his goods and vehicle were destroyed, with the Army stating that further investigations are to be carried out. On the international scene, lawyers to the whistleblower whose complaint has triggered an impeachment inquiry against U.S. President Donald Trump say their client's life may be in danger over what the president has been saying about the person. They wrote a letter to the acting director of national intelligence, Mr. Joseph McGuire, which was made public on Sunday, in which they called attention to the president's language. And in sports, Cardiff City must pay French club Nantes 6 million euros to settle a dispute over the payment of the transfer fee for Emiliano Salah, and that's according to FIFA. Now the amount corresponds to the first installment of the 17 million euro fee Cardiff had agreed to pay Nantes before Salah died in a plane crash on January the 21st while traveling to his new football club. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to watch the evening news recap later today. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun, and thank you for watching.